Welcome back to Blender Daily. In today's video I want to share 5 very quick but useful Blender tips. Let's get started. If you are working in the node editor and you have multiple node connections coming from the same output, you can just hold down control and move all of them at the same time. This is extremely handy and can save you a lot of time. You might already know that we can hover over a color field and press E in order to bring up this eyedropper tool that allows us to quickly select any color that we need. But did you know that we can also hover over the gradient of the color ramp and press Alt E, which will also bring up the eyedropper, but this time we can select as many colors as we want and they will all be added to the gradient of the color ramp. You probably know this issue when you have a heavy animation and Blender is not able to play it back in correct speed. In this case I have around 17 frames per second instead of the 30 fps that it should be. This makes it really hard to animate because we can't see our animation in correct speed. Luckily there is an easy fix for that. Go down to playback and change the sync mode from play every frame to frame dropping. Now Blender is still only showing 17 frames per second, however it is skipping a few frames in order to play it back in correct speed. This makes animating a lot more intuitive. Working with multiple timeline editors in Blender can be really messy as they might not be showing the same frame range. This makes it really hard to get a good overview on your animation. But luckily there is already a solution for that built into Blender. For this just go to view and enable sync visible range for all the timelines that you have open. Now you can move around in one timeline and all the others will update at the same time. This makes animating a whole lot easier. Most Blender users are aware of the shortcut control numpad 0 to quickly make the selected camera the active one. But did you know that this works with any object in Blender, not just camera objects? So for example I can select this light object and press Ctrl numpad 0 to make it the active camera and take a look at it from the first person view. This can be really useful to align the light. Now that I am inside of it I can double press R to enable trackball rotation and rotate the light in order to point it exactly at my target. I use this all the time when I am aligning lights. Just don't forget to make an actual camera object the active camera once you are done. Are you interested in even more Blender quick tips? Then you should check out the Essential Blender Tips course that I created together with the Blender Bros where we share more than 500 of our favorite tips. We just released an updated version of it with fresh content. In total it includes more than 12 hours of screen recording to improve your Blender skill set. We did our best to add as much value as only possible into this course. You can find the link to it in the video description. That's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.